Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mohammed Dasim. I'm working as DevOps engineer. Uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, show you how we can manage our secrets uh, through the AWS Secrets Manager. And this is the second part of our video. In this, uh, in my previous video, I already shown you how to set up the environment variable for your application, and we actually dockerize the application as well. So um, that part is done and available for you guys. So I'm not going to discuss on that part. So uh, moving on, uh, what we are, <coughs> excuse me, what we are going to do is to simply um, pass uh, the secrets. And for that, I've already set up a document for you guys and simply navigate to this directory in QuickBooks 2018 slash Docker repository. So in that uh, directory, you will find uh, this document, Spring Boot application secret uh, on-prem and everything is there. So uh, simply I'm going to uh, navigate to this demo section, although uh, the above part is with regard to the policies and uh, same stuff uh, with regard to the more detailed uh, descriptions. So, for this demo, I've already uh, done some extra work and put it here. So what I'm going to do is to simply uh, uh, use these command to create a secret. So in this command, what I'm going to do is to create a secret through AWS CLI. I have already installed AWS CLI uh, in my um, machine. So um, but I'm going to change the region. I'm going to change the region to um, a US East one. And I've also installed the JQ and for the Windows JQ is available. If you're using the Apple or uh, other Unix space, uh, you can simply download the JQ um, package. So uh, I've already set up this. So this is uh, with regard to the Amazon Linux or CentOS, so uh, you can download uh, these stuff. So what we are going to do uh, is to some uh, simply first of all uh, create a secret here. Okay, so uh, these values are with regard to the get. So as far as the um, secret creation is concerned, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to create one secret and the name of that particular secret is going to be db password so simply copy this uh, command and i'm going to copy this command till end okay so uh, this is the name of the secret and this is the secret string let me run this command uh, on my terminal okay so I'm going to close some extra terminal. Let me open a fresh terminal for you guys and let me zoom in a bit. So, okay, I'm going to run this command and it is going to uh, create one secret in the US uh, East one region. And if, if everything goes well, it will return this value. So uh, I have to show you the console side as well. Uh, if you navigate to the secret manager you will see let me show you the secret uh, what we have set up and i'm going to show you the plain text part of this as well so this is the db password which is the name of the secret and if you click and just drag it down i'm going to retrieve this value so this is the plain text value so uh, we can also uh, retrieve this value through the AWS CLA. Uh, of, I have already provided you this command, how we are going to retrieve this particular value. So I'm going to simply uh, copy this command and I'm going to paste it here. So you will see uh, that uh, we are able to pull our secret and this is our secret, okay? So, uh, okay, so what we are going to do is to um, make this uh, value only available for that uh, particular secret. So as I told you that I've already uh, configured 
uh, JQ in my laptop, although I've configured this uh, some uh, regex as well. So let's try that and let's see what we get. So the output of that is going to be this is our secret and if you use the JQ so simply you have to put this secure string and I'm going to put this value here I'm going to copy paste this one okay uh, sorry uh, JQ was on um, a different machine so leave it uh, I just uh, had to tell you that you can configure that as well. So anyway, and this is going to be our, uh, you know, value of the secret. So what I'm going to do is to save this value into a particular um, environment variable on my local machine. So as far as the persistency of this environment variable, I have to tell you that uh, that uh, in the Unix based environment, if you reboot the machine or Windows uh, based machine, uh, I have little idea that if you read the, if you reboot the machine, this environment uh, variable will be uh, no more available. So uh, you can um, see the documentation how you can simply do the persistency of your environment variable if the machine reboots. Uh, it will be available available for you as this is my local machine I'm using the windows and I'm going to show you on the Linux machine as well so um, okay so uh, what I'm going to do is to simply call this environment variable if I do uh, echo to DB password So it will return this value. So uh, <clears throat> this value is going to be our part of, uh, you know, environment variable. So what I'm going to do is to simply uh, pass this uh, in my environment variable. So uh, what I'm going to do is to simply uh, copy this. And what I'm doing here, I'm using the docker run command and uh, I'm following this, uh, giving the name to this container as secret and uh, I'm doing the port mapping to my uh, machine port 80 and this environment variable is uh, now uh, giving the value uh, DB password and it will return um, I will show you it will return the value what we have given. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm using the you know uh, Windows machine what I have to do is to uh, first of all uh, run this um, Docker desktop uh, it will be available till it will be available what I'm going to do uh, it is starting uh, what I'm going to do is to open one more shell and I'm going to do SSH into my Linux machine and I'm going to uh, show you the stuff there as well how it is going to be look like on your Linux machine. So I'm going to uh, already set up uh, one EC2 uh, machine here. So uh, if I uh, navigate to the networking section, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to do SSH into this particular uh, machine. So this is the PAM key and EC2-user in the default for the Amazon Linux and I'm going to do the SSH into that into that particular machine. I'm going to install Docker and um, and I'm going to start the Docker daemon uh, on that particular machine. So sudo hyphen i okay yum install hyphen y Docker and the other command is going to be let me. Uh, so these are the command I'm going to uh, do for the installation and uh, for the start of docker daemon and enabling it to make sure that 
when the machine reboots and everything should be uh, available as a service with regard to the docker so okay this part is done and let me show you that docker is set up okay so what i'm going to do is to uh, put my aws keys here so till then i'm going to pause the video use this command to simply provide the keys so guys i have already um, put my access key and secret access key so what i'm going to do is to simply navigate to my documentation and again um, first of all uh, let this uh, command run on my local machine okay so this is my local machine and let's try to run this so what it is going to do it is going to pull this image from this docker hub so in my previous video i've compiled the code and show you all the stuff and i pushed uh, that particular image on my public uh, docker hub uh, registry and this is the public repository from here you can pull the code so uh, it is pulling it and definitely it is my local machine so it will take a time so till then um, we are going to do some setup on our um, EC2 machine uh, where is very high throughput. So uh, what I'm going to do is to um, simply uh, create one and uh, simply create one variable which I'm going to call uh, uh, into this command. So just navigate to this section and copy this. So again, I'm going to uh, call this uh, db password okay let me show you uh, let me run this command so i will show you that uh, how jq looks like uh, on your uh, machine so what i'm going to do is to now use this uh, jq and i'm going to fetch the value of this particular string so paste it here so jq is uh there okay uh id is this is not the id okay let me okay let me list a second okay yeah copy this command okay uh, this id is this one so what i'm going to do is to copy this command and i'm going to fetch the value for this particular secret we have created so you see uh, this giving me a more color look and the although the output is the same so but this is the value which we are going to pass so uh, now what i'm going to do is to uh, uh, create uh, one uh, password uh, sorry one variable and I'm going to put this uh, JQ string in this my DB password okay so this is set up and if I uh, echo this one if I echo this one it will give me the same output okay So uh, what I'm going to do is to first of all show you that uh, that um, how our uh, default uh, is going to be look like uh, as I shown you that I've already uh, pushed my image to my Docker Hub and I'm going to simply use this particular string and I'm going to copy paste here and it is going to run on port 8090 so inside port of the docker is 880 and what i'm going to do is to simply copy the ip address of uh, this machine okay mm. copy this ip address open the address okay so I copy the address and put it on uh, next tab port 80 
90 and the path was shirts so uh, you see this is the wrong value coming because the default as i told you that this was set up to this one so if i navigate to my documentation so now i'm giving this value which is uh, going to be the same uh, image i'm going to use and this time i'm going to pass one environment variable to this value okay and this time i'm going to use port 80 of my machine okay as the name is uh, the same okay so i'm going to remove uh, all the containers and i'm going to run the command again so every container is removed either stopped or start let's start it so if i navigate to this section and just simply remove the port you see this dusra value is now coming so again i'm going to remove the container running or stopped okay so i'm going to pass now our secret value so this time as i told you as i as we set up this my db uh, my db variable and this is going to be environment variable for our docker so what it is going to do it is going to uh, fetch the um, uh, fetch the value from our secret manager and it is going to pass in our spring boot application so uh, this is how we can uh, simply i mean um, uh, use the secrets in our application through the environment variables although secret manager give you different uh, methods to you know pass the uh, to set up your application but uh, this uh, this is my way i'm showing you through the environment variable so if i use the port 880 you see my secret is now coming and it is coming from the secret manager and we are just passing this value so um, definitely uh, you can narrow down the permission with regard to the secret manager so the point here is to tell you that as i told you that in your code if you pour, uh, push your code to your bit bucket or github or any repositories your developers or other staff member will see this value so this is this value might be your rds value or something your like your api uh, so this is how you can secure this through and uh, the AWS secret manager so this is uh, this value is just a uh, you know not actual value just a placeholder for the environment variable and and this value is it is actually fetching from the AWS secret manager so uh, this is uh, it guys with regard to the secret manager uh, management in the spring boot application and as far as the video with regard to the um, and deployment uh, uh, in the ECS uh, it is going to be the automated deployment that would be uh, a part of my next video and I will show you how you can set up the automatic de automated deployment and pass uh, those secrets through the environment variable uh, in your Spring Boot application um, in aws uh, elastic container service thank you guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe my channel have a nice day